Alright, so section 2.3, you know, uh, second and third and so forth derivatives. Derivatives, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the problem with, you know, things like uh, products and the product rule and so forth is that um, it just gets nasty if you take more, you know, if you need more derivatives. So, you know, uh, again, I could have something like, you know, h of x is equal to um, uh, maybe something like uh, x squared cosine x. And then, okay, h prime of x is derivative of x squared with respect to x times cosine x plus uh, derivative of cosine of x with respect to x times x squared. And so I get uh, 2x cosine x. And I'm going to go ahead and move that uh, x squared to the front. So x squared and then times mi minus sine x. Now again that looks you know kind of ugly and so I'll write that as 2x um, cosine of x minus x squared sine of x. And so now um, if I wanted h double prime, so the derivative of the derivative, I have two product rules I have to deal with. And, and so um, I would take the derivative of this first part minus the derivative of the second part. And I just concentrate on each one at a time, so I have the derivative of the 2x with respect to x cosine of x uh, plus um, my 2x times the derivative of the cosine of x with respect to x. See what I did there? I left that 2x out in front and just put the derivative second. Doesn't matter, multiplication any order. And similarly I've got the derivative of x squared dx times sine of x and then plus x squared times the derivative of the sine of x with respect to x. So, you know, it just gets long, uh, but the derivative of 2x with respect to x, that's just 2. Uh, whoops. And then cosine x. And then plus my 2x times the derivative of cosine x, that's minus sine x. And then minus, now here I'm going to leave this parenthesis because of that minus right there. Uh, I have 2x and a sine x. And then plus an x squared and derivative of sine x is cosine x. I have all that. And so as I put this together I have a 2 cosine, two cosine x. And notice here, I've got a minus, there's a minus, right, in there. Uh, that's supposed to be an arrow. Uh, so that's 2x times a minus sine x, or minus 2x sine x. There's another one here, minus 2x sine x. So I've got minus 4x sine of x. And then that minus goes through to the x squared cosine, so minus x squared cosine of x. So, and imagine if I need another derivative, right? It just keeps going, these products, you know, just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, it seems like. So, um, uh, so that's, uh, you know, doing a second derivative with, say, a, a product rule. Um, you know, if I had a quotient rule, yeah, same sort of thing, right? So, if I had an h of x, is equal to you know x plus 2 over x minus 3 well and I want h prime of x 
Well, my derivative here and derivative of the top first. So the derivative of x plus 2 uh, with respect to x times x minus 3 minus the derivative of x minus 3 over, uh, or not over, but with respect to x uh, times x plus 2. And that's all over then uh, x minus 3 squared. And, and so um, our derivative here, well the derivative of x plus 2 is 1, so we get our x minus 3 and then minus x plus 2 here, because again the derivative of x minus 3 is 1, uh, over x minus 3 squared. Now if I want a second derivative, you see it will really help me a lot if I go ahead and um, uh, take the derivative, uh, sorry, simplify the top first, right, and, and so I'll get here a minus 5 uh, because I have x minus x and then a minus 3 minus 2, so I get minus 5 over x minus 3 squared. Now, here's the thing. If I want to take the derivative now of this thing, if I want h double prime of x, well, we'll find a much nicer way to deal with this in the, um, in the next uh, section uh, with the chain rule. But for now, well, let's wait a minute. I need to write that out. I need to multiply that out on the bottom and get minus 5. I have x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now I can take uh, the second derivative. So h prime, h double prime of x is derivative of the top. So derivative of minus 5 with respect to x, which is just going to be 0. Uh, times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus uh, a minus 5 times the derivative of x squared minus 6x plus 9 with respect to x all over x squared oops, minus uh, 6x plus 9 quantity squared. So we get that. And um, that, well, we just get 0 here. That's just 0. And we get our minus, uh, minus and a minus 5. So we get a, a plus 5 times uh, our derivative here. So 2x minus 6 divided by and um, now I could, I could write this thing, I could square it out, or I could factor it back to the x minus 3 quantity squared and write this as um, x minus 3 to the fourth. And that's actually a little helpful um, because I can write this, as, I can take a 2 out of the top and so I get 10 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 to the fourth and so that becomes 10 over x minus 3 cubed. And so that's our second derivative and again in the next section we could have gotten to uh, this answer uh, much easier and quicker using the chain rule. But there's, you know, extra derivatives with um, product rules and quotient rules and, and so forth. So um, they just get nastier and nastier and nastier. Um, and uh, you just kind of take your time and you push through them.